how would you describe 300 rise of an empire or how does it relate to the original 300 well uh, first of all it's not a sequel to the first film this is a we call it a, a companion film that actually explores the broader conflict that was unfolding across Greece uh, at the same time as the uh, 300 Spartans standing in Thermophili. So it, it takes place during the same time, but in an entirely different uh, battlefield, which is the sea. This film brings Xerxes back. Can you tell us where we find him in this film and the role he plays in the battle? Yeah, I think the interesting thing is that in this film, we have the opportunity to explore a little bit of Xerxes' uh, backstory. Um, you know, it's, I think that was very uh, stimulating for me because, uh, you know, revisiting a character after six years and, and, and now trying to bring more humanity, more dimensions uh, to this character. And, and through this backstory, we, we learn, you know, about him and we understand where does he come from? Uh, so we, we have him as a man, and then we go into a transformation uh, until he becomes the God King that we met in, in the first film. Who is Artemisia, and what is her interaction with, like with Cersei? Artemisia is sort of like a step uh, sister for Xerxes, and it's, it's a very interesting uh, character because it's, I think they're, they complement each other. They're very different uh, than each other, and Artemisia is more like a, a warrior-like, uh, uh, and, and Xerxes is, I would say, he's the strategist. He's, he's, he's the brain, he's trying to articulate everything, and, and together they will, you know, try to, to keep conquering the world, which was what Darius, Xerxes' father, was doing before, uh, before they killed him. So uh, the interesting thing is that Artemisia reflects, uh, it's sort of like a mirror, she reflects Xerxes' uh, fragilities and, and vulnerability, which I think it was very interesting to bring, just to bring more humanity to the character. Uh, in the first film you saw the God King, and I think people were like asking, who is this guy? And where does he come from? And in this film, I think you're gonna have the opportunity to understand, you know, who was Xerxes, who was the man before the God King. What was it like working with Eva Green? Eva was great. Um, we 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 met a couple of days before shooting, and she she was very committed uh, to the part. We we had conversations about you know, that relationship, what we thought that would be interesting for Xerxes and Artemisia. We kind of came up with a little backstory. And, um, you know, it's interesting because we are, we are working together, but I don't work with her directly. Because, you know, in order for me to play a giant, a nine feet tall character, I have to work by myself. So I'm constantly talking to a to a tennis ball. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's that's the process. I have Eva here, you know, playing Artemisia, but she's feeding me the lines, but I'm, you know, all the time actually uh, focusing in, in, in a, a little dot. Uh, that's just in order to, you know, to, to have me a nine feet tall giant. Uh, it's interesting. It's a very different way of working. It's, it's much more... Uh, technical in that way, but I think that it, it taught me a lot of things 